Hey, welcome to The Monitor. As always, I am Peter Rubin, Senior Editor at Wired. And this week, what do we have? We have a television show that somehow manages to not make me cringe. We have a new comic book that you should catch up on. But first, we have the way I'm going to be spending my Christmas day, and that is seeing a young woman named Jane Gwunchained. Django Unchained from Quentin Tarantino is hitting theaters next Tuesday. And yeah, that's a few days from now, and if the mine apocalypse manages to not happen, we'll all be there. But this is the thing I am still looking forward to perhaps most of anything this year. It is the story, of course, of a man named Django, played by Jamie Foxx, a slave in the antebellum South who is freed by a bounty hunter and trained in the art of bounty hunting. Why? To go rescue his wife from an evil, evil slave owner named Colonel Candle. Or Candy? Candle? Candy? Candle? Leo DiCaprio plays him. That's all we need to know. Anyway, huge ensemble cast as befits a Quentin Tarantino production. You've got Kerry Washington. You've got Christoph Waltz, who we all loved in Inglorious Bastards. We have uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, of course. It's far and wide. Uh, I, I kind of like this this revenge kick that he's been on recently. And by recently, I mean over the past few movies. And Glorious Bastards was an absolute joy. And I have been waiting for Django Unchained since the day that we thought Chris Tucker would be playing Django. But it is not Chris Tucker. It is Jamie Foxx, but it is still going to be a lot of fun. It opens on Tuesday. I suggest you check it out, but not in my theater. And don't be eating food and being all loud about it because I want to enjoy this in silence. Let's talk about comic books. There is a comic book out this week that is actually the, the third in a four-issue series uh, but it made me realize that I haven't spoken about this yet, and I would very much like to because I would very much like you to discover and read this book. It is called Multiple Warheads. It's by a guy named Brandon Graham, a youngish uh, writer-illustrator based in Vancouver. Now, he wrote a one-off Multiple Warhead book uh, for Oni Press a while back, but this, he has developed those characters and the setting into a four-issue miniseries that's being published on Image. It is the story of a young in-love couple, Sexica and Nicoli. Nicoli is a werewolf, and they are fleeing their hometown in Russia, but not any Russia we would recognize. It is a sci-fi, futuristic uh, Russia, and they are, they've gone for a road trip. They packed up, they had to vacate their city, and now they are off to parts unknown. Now, what's so fantastic about this is there is this uh, sense of whimsy that, that pervades the book. Uh, Brandon Graham is really into puns and wordplay and he fills his panels with it. This is a book that rewards close reading. Like there is the story that goes through, but it's almost secondary to the attention that he pays to the denizens of this world. Every character has these little one-off punny one-liners. I mean, I am unabashedly a pun nerd, so I'm really getting off on this book. Uh, if you don't groan at every pun you hear. And even, actually, even if you do groan at every pun you hear, Multiple Warheads might just be an undiscovered joy for you this holiday season. So check that out. Multiple Warheads 3 is out this week, but uh, you can go back and read 1 and 2, which I would recommend. Don't worry about the one-off. You can just jump in with 1 and start there. Let's talk about television. So there was a show on Fuse. I know, right? A show on Fuse. Not just videos of Lady Gaga. There was a show on Fuse called Billy on the Street. It's kind of a pop culture game show. That is really the, the structure of it. But I usually hate shows that involve pranking or otherwise victimizing defenseless people who have no idea what they're getting into. They didn't sign up for this, etc. I don't like that stuff. But Billy on the Street manages to kind of ride that line where I never cringe. I never feel like this person is taking being taken advantage of. Billy is kind of masterful at being really abrasive and hilarious and not alienating. It's it's a magical balancing act that he pulls off. They rerun season one all the time. They had some guest stars. Rashida Jones has been on. They've got some new ones planned for this season. It is, if you ever catch it, a Billy on the Street marathon, just sit down for one or two episodes and I can almost guarantee that you will be hooked like I have been in recent times. But I'm very excited about the new season and it is back and I am rejoicing. So that is it for the monitor this week. Uh, now tomorrow is the last day. It is not only the winter solstice, but it is the last day of the current Mayan calendar cycle. So should the world end, you can disregard everything that I've said today about Django Unchained and Billy on the Street, but you should probably read multiple warheads now just in case we all shuffle off this mortal coil. But we will be back next week with a very special holiday highlight reel. You can always email us at the monitor. We will see you next week, but until then, inspirational catchphrase here.